Veja potom. Potom. In the past decade, almost 200,000 Roma have made the UK their home. In the hope that Britain will give them a chance to build a better life. It's very, very easy to take benefit in England. But can the UK provide everything they need for themselves and their kids? We are a big family, massive, 22 people together. Inside the lives of a closed-door community. Salute. England is more better life because here they don't think if you are gypsy or no. Me, the gypsies on benefits, I'm proud. Thank you so much, England. Welcome to Romania, and a typical gypsy village in the rural southern hills of a country that has the biggest Roma population in the whole of Europe. And this is home to Jon Laser, at least for the next few days. This is main town, yeah? Name is Argetoia. My town is from Gypsy. Jon's now leaving all this behind, and pretty soon he'll be in London. I know it's very, very easy to take benefit in England. She's given me home free, yeah? She's given me money free, she's given me everything. Like most gypsy villages, this is set apart from mainstream Romania. Jobs are thin on the ground, and for its 5,000 residents, life is pretty basic. So, this is my house. Yeah. Come to see what I have. I have animals, I have chicken, I have pork. It's not too love for my family. I'm gonna put inside in this one tomatoes, patates, cabbage. Everything here for my family. I'm gonna take benefit for England. Yeah, England is one country with much money. I need maybe four, four, zero thousand pound for my family. And I think this money I, I can make in one year, maybe two. In Romania, it's unlikely that Jon could make 40 grand in 20 years, let alone two. And he has a plan for the money. Build a new home for his family. Make one good house with three rooms, one bedroom, fridge, plus TV. My family is very important and I love my family. Eh? For that one, I make everything. So in just a few days, Jon's on the bus to London with the possibility of benefits he'd never get in his home country. And five family and friends have also got a ticket. Thirteen hundred miles away in Rotherham, South Yorkshire, there's a huge gypsy family that's already getting cash from the welfare state. Meet Katarina Sisarova and her husband, Peter. They're Slovakian Roma who came to the UK seven years ago. And their clan is much bigger than most families on benefits. Grandkids. We have 11. Very nice. And children? <laughs> we are a big family, massive, 22 people together. Big family, yeah. Slovakia people. <laughs> Katerina lives with four of her kids and an out-of-work husband. They get about 24 grand a year in benefits, six times the handouts they'd get in Slovakia. All but one of her grown-up kids and their families live off benefits too. Tu nam dobre do anglicku, tu sebe žijeme, tu máme všetko, čo chceme, ale toto sme nemali na Slovensko, čo tu nám. Nie je kasalo Kristo Manta. 
život, nie? zariadenie. Byty sme nemali a Slovensko, lebo nemali sme tam elektriky, nemali sme tam radiátory, tak nemali sme nič, no, nič. In the seven years she's been here, Katarina's worked for just one month. Husband Peter's had various jobs, but nothing for two years. I can't, you know, have a job, no food. Nothing, no. I'm not going back. No. Never. I'm like here, England. England give me a house. Give me doctor, give school benefit. England is good. Thank you so much, England. Thank you very much. 30 miles south in Nottingham, there's another Roma Gypsy whose life has been transformed by British benefits. VRL Danu lost both legs in a train accident in Romania when he was a child. Now he takes his skateboard wherever he goes. Because I have too many years on this skateboard, I... I learned myself, and this is my legs for now. I come in the UK because I don't have a, a nice life there. In Romania, it's very hard with the money, with the everything. Back home, VRL had to beg to get by. So life here is a relative luxury, thanks to 750 quid a month in job seekers and disability living allowances. Ten times what you'd get in Romania. The amount of money you get, is that enough for you? <sighs> the money what they have amount is not exactly what I need. But what can I do? I, I must say thank you for this one. Well, this is where I live. Welcome to my house. This is the living room. I have a kitchen. 25-year-old VRL came here three years ago. Now mum, dad and his nephew have popped over too. He's my mother and he meets my father. My family is here from eight months ago and they do everything for me. What do you want VRL's discovered a number of reasons why coming to Britain was a good move, and benefits is just one of them. In England, they understand problems. In Romania, no. In Romania, when I live there, with my benefit, you can't buy nothing. In England, is more better life, because here, they don't look on you if you are black or no. They don't think if you are gypsy or no. Every, every door, it's open here. This is the most easy. But back in Rotherham, Katarina's big benefits life has suffered a setback, and she's far from happy. But I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. It's the last day in Romania for 36-year-old Jon Lazer. Time for some final chores before he heads off to Britain in search of cash. I want to make from benefit 40,000 and any jobs. I need this money. And not much will be off limits if things get desperate. The food, I don't have food, I go still. The pocket, the people, yeah? And maybe sometimes in the house, if there's no, nobody inside, yeah. Jan's plan is to pocket enough to build a dream home to share with the family. So, this is my sister. This is my wife. This is my son, the small boy. My daughter, my nephew. And this is my son, big boy. Jan's not making the trip to the UK alone. His sister and nephew will also be on the bus. But wife Maria and the kids are staying behind, at least for now. Normal to be in the country. In the country, this is what I'm saying. In the country, there's no money. 
cu trei copii. Îmi pare rău. But now Jon plans to change his family's fortunes with more than a little help from the British taxpayer. <laughs> In Rotherham, 43-year-old Slovakian gypsy Katarina Sisarova has already made a big move, even if she's just crossed a few streets to her new home. Now she's settling into a much swankier pad with her husband and four of their 11 kids, and it's all paid for by benefits. They're happy. They've got this house better than other one, you know, because that, that other house was too mess, you know. So it's better now, they're happy with this house. In Slovakia, Katarina and Peter would get 95 quid a month towards housing. Here they get 540 and the promise of improvements. Next month, uh, coming uh, change for new boiler, my landlord, new gas machine. My landlord tell me two, two, three weeks, after two, two, three weeks, bring me new. Carpet. And he has, because that one is broke, you know. Oh. Buy me new for that one. But Peter's also getting in on the improvements. He's an unemployed builder with plenty of time on his hands. Now, I was painting for here because my wife no happy, you know. <laughs> now I'm painting. After two, three hours happy. <laughs> England is good, you know. My country, no good. No jobs, no anything. No. Too many people in Slovakia uh, come in England because my country no have job. I'm go from my country, I'm no have house. No house. No have nothing. Here, I'm have house. I'm even happy, very happy, yeah. So Peter's grateful for a house provided by the British taxpayer, even if it's not quite up to Slovakian standards. My country's strong house, very strong. England, no, because England, I, I don't know why. Come and look, I'm, I'll show you. Look, it's no good. I'm pushing after that. My country, no. Broke for that, everything. But while Peter puts his DIY skills to good effect, good. Good. Katarina has had a benefits hiccup. She's just been told that half the family's welfare cash has been stopped. It's hard to because of her limited English, Katarina can't sort this problem. So she's off to see a man who can. Fellow immigrant, Mikal. He's a gypsy translator, working for the Roma community in Rotherham. And more than used to sorting out benefits problems. Katarina, she is quite often in the unity centre. We try to help them to make a phone call or a filling the forms. Dobrý. Dobrý den, paní Cizarová. Dobrý den. O začátku či by si mě volat naspět tam na job center, či se mám polahnu na tě pení, na tě, či dostanem útorok, alebo ne. A nevím, co to je, či harčík pejme, či co to je, alebo tu podporu nezaměstnanost. She's been told by the advisor that she will get a payment. On a quick Thursday. call to the job centre, um, and Mikal's discovered know. exactly what's up. Tak, od od 11. do 24. februára sankce, znova sankce. Takže co budete muset udělat? Si skočte pro hardy formu a já vám vypíšu tu hardy formu. She has been suspended again from the JSA payments, and the reason was uh, she wasn't actively looking for a job.
Nervi, mam na to, to nervi. She's been here quite a long time, but the issue with them was that they are not mixing with non-Roma people. You have to go out there and try to learn English. So hopefully she will be good within a few months and the suspension will end and she can actively look for the job and uh, do something for herself as well. Despite the language barriers, thousands of Roma are still making the move to the UK. Benefits might be the big law for some, but not all. In the gypsy village in Romania, Dimitri is one of Jon's neighbours and a lifelong friend, even if he views the UK in a very different light. He'll be on the same bus to Britain with his wife of 25 years, Stefana, and the younger of his two sons. Dorim să mergem să muncim pentru o viață mai bună. De 8 ani suntem toți fără servici. Dar nu-i dacă nu găsești niciunde. Niciunde. Fabricile s-au închis, au dat faliment. Totul e falimentar. Nu găsim patru persoane, nu avem niciun venit. Vreau să trăim la lucrări? Doamne ajută. So now, all these guys want is a regular wage. Poate ce nu ai de lucru, să muncești, să ai din ce trăi. Nu, nu ai nicio speranță dacă n-ai de lucru să plătești un curent, să plătești un gaz, să plătești întreținere, să plătești telefonul. Asta e important. Nu cât prestigi, dar să ai de muncă, să poți să trăiești zilnic, să ai din, din ce trăi. Din, Ideea din... e că dacă plecăm pentru, mun plecăm pentru muncă, dar dacă vine un ajutor social, e binevenit. Un ajutor... Dacă se poate? Nu stric. Să ne terminăm și noi casa. It's now the night before the bus leaves for London. And for Jon, Dimitri and their families, it's party time. I'm very happy. This is my party because I'm going in England and I'm very happy now. These are just the latest villagers to say goodbye and make the trip to the UK. All my love, yeah, is here and all my friend is here in this country, yeah, but this is the life, this is the life, yeah. Now it's 4 a.m. and time to leave. The bus to London is packed. Some are returning for work, but for Jan, it's the first step towards the 40 grand he wants to build a new home. Two hundred thousand Roma gypsies have already left family and friends behind to come to the UK. And 25-year-old Romanian Vieral Dinu is one of them. He's been in the UK for three years, but now his mum, dad and nephew have joined him in Nottingham. Ali! Ali! He's now the head of the family because he gets around £750 a month in benefits. And that pays for everything. It's better the job seekers allowance and disability than Romania, of course. I pay the rent, I pay the gas, electricity, water. And it won't be long before mum gets 60 quid a week in benefits too. I hear from somebody, my mum can do care salons for me and I make a fall. I send it, but she must have two years in England to be my care. British benefits have transformed Viral's life. In Romania, he had to beg to get by after the accident that happened when he was a child. When I have an accident, I was uh, seven years old. I play with a friend to the train. The train, they catch me my legs. And they put me down. And after they go, train on, on my legs. This is my skateboard. 
I put the name my little my little car. My little car. VRL hasn't let the injuries hold him back. He's tried to lead as normal a life as possible. He was married before he came to Britain. I find a, a girl. I like her. She liked me and I stay with her five years. I come in, in uh, England and she going. That's it. This is the life. Now we have, tomorrow you don't know. That's an attitude that means VRL is always up for a new challenge. I like to play the music, and that's it. He might well like to play, but his audience isn't always so keen. Before the benefits, he went busking for cash and got into trouble with the cops. They arrested me 20 times. I don't stop. I don't stop. But in the end, he did when they served him with an ASBO. Ah! Jan and his friends are now heading from Romania to the UK. A thousand miles and a day and a half on a bus is plenty of time for Jan to plan how he's going to get the 40 grand he wants. And it's the British taxpayer who'll help him reach his target. I'm very happy because I'm coming in England. Just I'm coming in home. I'm very, very tired. A clan leader has paid for this trip and the house because claiming benefits will take some time. I need money. I don't have any money with me. I hope very quickly to take my benefit here yeah? for me and for my family and my friends the same because benefits she's given me home free she's given me water free rent everything no play if nothing I plan to stay in okay how much is gonna be benefit a first 10 years 10 years a first 13 years 30 years a first two years what can I do two years while the Romanian newcomers are just starting to think about benefits, in Rotherham, the welfare state's a way of life for Slovakian Roma, Katerina. But her money problems still haven't been sorted. <laughs> the mum of 11 with another 11 grandkids has been sanctioned for not trying hard enough to get a job. It means her benefits of 430 quid a week have been cut by half. Because she get like housing benefit, yeah. Before, before was okay, yeah. But now it's difficult. You know, it's difficult. So she don't get much payment. She's got left about 60, 70 pound for all week, to you know, to buy food. And all those kids and grandchildren cost a packet. They ask you for a new stuff, you know, so she can't buy them because no much money, you know. She need, need to be be careful of the money. So I put in a Danisa. She don't feel normal. Chaving a camp at Jivel, chaving a camp along the po autobusi. Kids need to have life, you know. But down south in London, the Romanian newcomers are enjoying better fortunes. They might have little money, but they've still found a way to have plenty to eat. I make very, very good salad, yeah? And I'm going to make one salad. So for the moment, I don't pay nothing for food because I'm going in supermarket and I stole it. I know it's no good, but what can I do? Unlike the others, Jon knows how to claim UK benefits. He's been here before, but he was deported for working illegally. So now he's back, he knows he can get child benefits for his kids, even if they're still in Romania. Because benefits I take very easy. I know my children, my baby is not here. 
have papillon for all my family and my friends is gonna help me and take benefit but my family in Romania I know it's very easy and it'll all go towards Jan's target of £40,000. Roma Gypsy Jan Laser has only been in the UK a few days. He's come from Romania with a plan to get 40 grand, in part from British benefits. And in London, he's settling into a three-bed home with his five fellow travellers and quite a few other immigrants. In this house live... 26, 28, I don't know exactly how much people eat together, make uh, food together. It's like family, yeah? Back home, Jan's family sleep in just one room. But even he isn't used to this many people. Here is, I think, uh, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. Just here. A note. <laughs> In this house, every room is used to the max. His small bedroom, two people and one children. Sorry, sleep. Sleeping. He has sleep just two. Wife and husband. We have the kitchen. Yeah. This house has been organised by the clan leader, who paid for the bus tickets to the UK. And he'll make a profit by helping the newcomers claim as much housing benefit as possible. This is my sister here is cooking here. Yeah? Any patates and something else. I think because it's no, it's no enough, this one, yeah? This is good enough for now, but what Jan really wants is a home of his own, paid for by benefits. She's going to give me house, yeah? She's going to give me money, everything for free, and then we'll be, I'll be very, very happy. <laughs> In Rotherham, life isn't nearly so cramped for Slovakian Roma Petra. Taxpayers are providing £650 a month in benefits for the single mum and her son Peter to live two streets away from his grandma. Ah. This is my house and I live here with my little son about 12 months. I don't know to do. <laughs> Petra is part of the Cicerova clan. She's the middle one of 11 children. And Peter is one of the youngest of 11 grandchildren. They're the next generation living off the state. You very naughty boy. I'll get child benefit, tax credit, housing benefit. I've got a better life here than my country. I'm never going to go to back to Slovakia, never. Yeah. So this is his willing room. So picture in the wall. No, some little TV. <laughs> so, this is my little kitchen. Go washing machine, cookers, fridge, microwave. Nice and warm here. So warm here, night time, yeah. So, it's okay, you know, but just me and my baby, it's okay. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. But a super warm house has its consequences. The fuel bill has just arrived. Oh, yeah, it's gas. So I need to pay gas. My gas is 710 and 23 pence. And another 800 odd for the lecky. But Petra has a plan. We're not doing like 10 pounds monthly or 20 a monthly. We will see what they're going to say. I will pay my bills of the tax credit. Or borrow money of my mom, 10, 10 15 pounds, then gonna pay it. What are you doing, yeah. naughty boy? What you are doing? Oh my god, no! Petra's had her hands full since Peter was born when she was 17, so she's never had a job. 
Out of the 22 children and grandchildren in the Cicerova clan, 19 have lives and homes paid for by British benefits. <laughs> You've got my lens, sure, son. <laughs> nice. Back in Nottingham, Romanian gypsy Vera Danu is remembering life before benefits, when he had to busk for cash to make ends meet. When I come here, I, I see a lot of people to play on the street. That's why I, I start to play. But he was eventually served with an ASBO after admitting using a noisy instrument in public to get money. I think it's not nice to, to beg him. What you do? You don't kill anybody. That time, you don't have any, any benefit, any nothing, and I must do it. On a good day, VRL could earn 200 quid busking, despite not always being in tune. I don't know playing so good. I think that's why they give me asbo. Because I play on the street, they say me one time, two times, three times, you're not allowed to play with the flu. The cops had already nicked VRL 20 times. But even on his last arrest, he wasn't going to come quietly. I tried to run, but somebody from face come four or three policemen. They touch me. Then he was arrested and cuffed. I say, you don't must to put these things on my hands because I must work with her. And he said, no, you are very dangerous. Wow. You take my skateboard, you take my hands, how, how I work now. The Asbos stopped him busking for extra cash, but he can still make the most of what the British system has to offer. Go to college two times per week, reading and writing, I do. I think I would like to, to speak more good English, because I have benefit, I don't need to pay. These things in Romania is not easy to do. You can't do it. It's more good here. In London, the new Romanian immigrants want to claim benefits, and the process ironically begins with a job. Work-related benefits are part of the plan for Yon and friends. A national insurance number is the key requirement, and that comes with a job, however little you get paid. So the clan leader who brought them to the UK is putting them to work, and his right-hand man is delivering the good news. Lamental. I'm going to take any metal from the street because I need money. And if I see something, I'm going to the home. The people, I knock in the door and I ask if we have any metal. If it's outside, for garden, I take. No, I don't ask, because it's outside. This job makes Jan and Dimitri self-employed. So now they'll get their crucial NI numbers, which will give them access to housing and child benefits and working tax credit. The clan leader will make sure they claim everything they can, and he'll take a cut for his efforts. Caught here. Metal. Caught metal. After eight years unemployment, Dimitri is made up. Deci nu, nu e rușit. 
să muncești nu e rușine. Nu e rușine. E important să stai să lucrezi. Noi am venit să muncim cinstit. Nu să facem altceva ilegal. <laughs> Back on the streets, the working day is over. And as the clan leader also owns the van, he'll keep the day's takings. And Dimitri and Jon will get some pay. I'm very happy. Yeah. I have to take uh, 241 pounds from today. I'm very happy. It's finished. And that receipt is all the proof they need to claim their NI numbers and start their benefits moving forward. Britain has one of the biggest Roma populations in Western Europe. And in Rotherham, home to Slovakian gypsy Katarina and her large family, they're the fastest growing ethnic minority in town. There is a quite big community in, in Rotherham already. We're talking about four to 6,000 people, uh, from, mainly from Slovakia. And at the Unity Centre, where Mikhail works, most of the inquiries are about benefits. Well, it's the EU, so you can come to this country and uh, work or claim benefits. Uh, the UK is still a welcoming country and still quite a generous country to be in. I think it's definitely easier to claim benefit in here than in our countries. So if we've got a people in here, we're trying to help them to, to claim benefits. And Mikhail says not every Roma gypsy in the UK is on the make. Not every Roma are the same. There is a plenty of Roma people who are trying in the UK to live a better life, free of discrimination, free of racism, and um, hard workers. There is Roma who are on benefits, who may be abusing the system. And don't get me wrong, you know, some of the British people could say, oh, they don't do nothing and stuff like that. You know, quite a few people's got the point, actually. You know, we've got, we've got people in here who just uh, take in a make. It's now six weeks since the Romanian gypsies arrived in London. And today, they're signing up for one of Britain's biggest benefits, free health care. As well as free education, these newcomers can get free GP services, even though they haven't paid a penny in taxes. You just you need an ID, maybe give you some form and uh, address where you live in uh, London. And should be all right. Should be registration for a GP. And I have to, to pay everything for the doctors. And if you don't have the money, die slowly. For you? No, for me. For him. For me, for my sister. Uh, my right. Have you had a doctor in this country before? No. We would need to see passports as well. It should be okay because if we see any problem, yeah, we're going to the GP and it's free everything. In Romania, it's very heavy because she need money. And we don't have money, yeah? It's very good in you. Okay. So they've signed up at the GPs, and their benefits claims are now being processed. But there are troubled times ahead for some of the new arrivals. Jon Lazer and his fellow Romanians arrived in London a couple of months ago. Now, with their benefits claims underway, there's time to relax. I think all Romanians is like been here, because it's very good, yeah? <laughs> but the laughter is hiding tears. Benny Hill is the only thing bringing smiles to their faces. The clan leader won't pay to support Stefana anymore, so his right-hand man has told her she's going home. Stephanie is not staying uh, more in this country because you don't have the job and you want to come back in Romania because you're not going to survive if you don't have the job. But her husband of 25 years is staying in Britain. So the couple's dream of a new future together in the UK is over. Păi, mă simt bine aici. Îmi pare rău că plec, dar doresc să vină băiatul 
pentru că el e băiat și găsește mai ușor de lucru ca mine. Nu pot, nu pot să învăț limba. Unde am găsit români nu sunt și nu pot să mă acomodez. Dar băiatul știe. Ion is going back too. His son is ill, so for now, British benefits aren't his top priority. I'm going to Romania and I live in England because I have a problem with my small son. Yeah. And I don't know which problem and how big is the problem, yeah? Because I'm going in the hospital with my son. And I hope she's going to be all right. But Jon's claim for child and housing benefits and working tax credit are already in the system. And he plans to be back in plenty of time for the first payment. I feel it's good. I think in maybe one week, two weeks, I don't know exactly, I'm going to come back together, all my family. In Nottingham, Vero Danu is back on his skateboard and looking to a future when he won't need to rely on benefits. Vicina's got to pay a lot. Oh, I want to be normal in UK. I want, I want to change my life from Romania. I want to be another man. I would like to have legs, but if I don't have whatever, I will try to do everything. And I would like to, to make a, a sport movie, something with fight, something. I like Jackie Chan. <laughs> fight. I want to fight in a movie with Jackie Chan. And he's no stranger to the big screen. VRL already has five credits for movies shot in Romania. What I know the, about the movie is horror. I don't know something more. But can I show you something from movie? What's the... You see? They, they take me because of my problem. I don't have uh, legs. And uh, in the movie, they make me very, very dangerous. I would like to be famous. His ambition is to be a proud gypsy who's not on benefits. Things are also looking up for the Cicerovas in Rotherham where Benefits Britain keeps on giving. Peter's doing a bit more DIY to smarten up the house that he shares with his wife, Katerina, and four of their 11 kids. Now I'm painting my wife happy. <laughs> and downstairs, there's been some good news. So spirits are high. <laughs> So it's all smiles at the Cicerovas. The family is back exactly where it wants to be. The sanctions have been lifted. They're on 430 quid a week again. And there's a back payment. <laughs> Very happy. She will get paid out of, of the job seekers of 500 pounds. Come on, Very good. <laughs> 